Hey, what's going on everybody? Red Ronald Music here bringing you another video. Today, I'm excited to say that we are on Forza Horizon 4. It has come out. Uh, I know a lot of people had it on Friday and some other people had it even earlier than that. Um, I was, I'm getting it through the Game Pass, so I didn't want to drop the $100 or whatever for the Deluxe Edition with the Car Pass. Because I don't really know how long we're going to be playing this. I feel like I didn't really use up my uh, value on Forza Horizon 3, so I played it safe this time. Right now we're in my Focus RS. The paint does look a little odd, but this is honestly how I would build an RS. Like, an RS is kind of one of my dream cars, just because it's so, like, sleeper, but it's so cool. And it's pretty good. Like, they're good cars. Shut up, Anna. Despite some issues with them, as far as, like, transmissions and stuff like that. But this is exactly how I would paint it. I would have it matte white with a little pink pearlescent. So you only see it, like, once in a while, and it makes somebody go, what the hell is that? And then it just goes away once you hit some different light. Uh, 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 it's a little dramatic in this game. I can't really, like, tone it down a bit. I'm continuing from where I left off in the demo. I know I didn't play the demo on the channel, but I figured what's the point, really, if the demo is available to everybody. Uh, if you really wanted to see it, you could just see it. <laughs> and you'd play it for yourself. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna continue from where I left off in the demo. We just got our first house. That's where we just left. Um, yards. Turn right. I might have to turn Anna off. That might get annoying. Also, you might hear me shred some gears quite a bit. Uh, this game has some... Forza's always had an issue with that. Where you have to, like, hold the clutch really long before you can shift. Otherwise, you just grind gears. It doesn't really matter. His damage is off. You're just gonna hear the sound. Like, there. I had to clutch all the way in before I touched the stick. And we still grinded the gear. Now, I will say, and I am using my wheel right now, this game feels pretty goddamn good with a wheel. Uh, I think what they did was they improved on the minimum feedback. So it feels like you're making tire, like your tires are making contact with the road. Alright, we're going to be doing a dirt race right now. Which is just off-road. I don't know why they call it dirt. It kind of makes it sound like like a dirt track. It's just off-roading. I don't know. I guess it's dirt so if you want to call it dirt. Probably let you know that the muds will be real slippy out there because of all that rain we've been getting recently. Same course, totally different drive. Huh. I wonder if rain actually affects the thing that I haven't noticed. Like just driving around it right there. Grinding gears. It's gonna be the thing. And I kinda wish I had my escort. We have a Ford Escort as well for like the off-roady stuff. And I had picked this to cruise around in because I wanted to paint it. But I guess we're using our focus. Should be alright. The all-wheel drive. Now I'm playing on 540 degrees of rotation because I thought 900 was actually kind of difficult to manage. Like I was really having to like throw the wheel to like be able to catch the drifts. Uh, 540 seems all right for me. Oh wow, that actually did feel pretty slippery. That felt similar to like driving through a puddle in Forza Motorsport. It just kind of like took our steering away. I don't know if we were, like, stuck on something on the side of the road there, but it definitely felt interesting. And right now we're playing in 1080p, uh, because my Elgato can't do 4K, because I don't have the 4K one. But this game is goddamn nice in 4K. And I will be doing a review of this as well, similar to the one I did for NASCAR Heat 3. Uh, I think that's going to be my basic format for reviews, so I'll be doing that for this game as well. And I don't know when you can expect it, maybe later this week, probably around Friday, 
Or if not, then the next week and Tuesday probably. And I do want to try it on my PC as well. We're on the Xbox right now. Uh, I heard the PC version actually works for once on like the the older Forza games, but uh, I'll have to see for myself. I have a graphics card coming in, so I'm gonna wait for that before I even bother. I might download it overnight, but I don't know. That's sort of race. We're smoking the opponents right now. I don't know what difficulty they're on. I think I bumped all the settings up to insane and then turned off simulated steering because that's not really very sim feeling at the end of the day. But I wouldn't expect it to because this is Forza Horizon and not iRacing or something. And it still feels good. I'm actually impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Now, obviously, we don't have our full steering visual. But that's easily curable with this camera, which they carried over from Forza 7. It's kind of hard for me to speak on this game as well, because I never played Forza 7. Like, I played the demo, and I was like, yeah, I'm not really in the mood for this. Plus, Project Cars was out at the time, and I was like, let me see what happens if I go with my main game as Project Cars. And that's what I did. I honestly haven't really missed Forza. I, I kind of do, but... And there's some things that I liked about it that I, I did miss. Like the drag racing stuff and all that's kind of cool. It's showing up now. Which this game also has drag racing. There's a drag strip in the Horizon Festival. It's a little stubby. It's not really much distance. But at least it's there. And uh, as for my gamer picture there, that is Al Borland. Yes, from Home Improvement. Uh, I have that because, specifically for the reason that Rocket League and Project Cars, you always see people's gamer pictures, and it's hilarious to be staring Al Borland in the face in a uh, Project Cars race. Especially if I'm, like, pissing somebody off, like if I'm, I'm passing them and stuff and they gotta look that in the face, it's hilarious. Hey, Kyle. Welcome to the Plus, who doesn't love some Al Borland? Wait, we get an airport and a drag strip? It's interesting. I guess this map is a little small. I don't know what this is up here. Is that a bridge or is that a... a pipe thing? I, I don't know. That'd be cool if we could drive on that bridge, but I don't think we can. A little driveway up in here. I don't know if we could go up in there. I don't know how far we could go. The map is rather small, though. I will say. We'll check out this stunt thing. I did the first one hey, from Kyle. the demo with the Bugatti. Just letting you know, the auto show is now open. Come on down and browse. Or I can send the catalog to your house if you prefer. In 200 yards, turn left. I will say it just feels completely like it's a, it's a very satisfying thing to drive on this game. I don't know why. Are these real people right here? We're always online, right? Yeah, that's a real dude. He's going for that checkpoint thing. The little board thing. But, uh, you guys, I kind of want you guys to lead this Let's Play series, if you want to call it that. I don't know if you guys want to see me do, like, most of these races. I'm not going to do all of them, because I'm not just going to record 24-7. Like, sometimes I can't, or sometimes I just want to play and, like, see the game for myself without having to talk. But, uh, let me know if you guys want to see it in, like, this format, where I just do mission to mission to mission. Or if you want to... What driveway is this in? Or if you just want to see, like, cool stuff. Arrived at your destination. I can also do a showdown thing like I did in Horizon 3. Though, most of the cars are exactly the same, so I don't know what the point of that would be. Maybe I'll do a couple of those for the, some of the new cars that they added. Look who it is. But, uh, to get I don't back know. Into the real excitement? See, that's why I like that paint. Look at that. It's right. got that shine to it, and it's got like a little coast. tiny bit of pink in there. And I think the pink and the matte white definitely you'll look good. And nobody has like a pink car. Often Though obviously that looks weird board. in the dark. Don't make them wait too long, yeah. Let's not like stall that. it. There we go, grinding gears. I might just turn off the clutch, to be honest. It's gonna drive me nuts listening to that. 
But I think it'll go away if I upgrade the clutch on the car. I think that's how these games will work. I remember that being a thing in the last Horizon where you had to, like, buy the race clutch to get rid of that, where you could shift fast. Now, I will say there was a lot of liftoff oversteer in this game. Uh, a lot more than I remember, like that, and well, that's understeer. But it's very dramatic for some reason in this game. I don't know if it's my settings or something. Third exit. Wouldn't be Forza Horizon if it didn't have these roundabouts, and it certainly wouldn't be the UK if it didn't have them. Oh my god, the understeer. I tried to clutch kick it and drift it. But the little RS doesn't seem to want to do that. And if you guys have this game, feel free to like add me on here, I guess, and we no can drive around or something. This time. Just I think it is always online, so you can just hop road. in. Apparently it's all the same movie. I wouldn't know. I haven't read the script. Taking out this auto union, is that they what this thing is called, I think? Face. It's been a what while since I've seen this car. Sometimes there are perks in this job. Like the Auto Union 1 or something like that, I go. don't remember. Scene 29. Beauty Drive. Action! Oh, this thing's real grappy. Oh, yeah. This is how this game's gotta be played. I always hated that the Horizon do. games don't really have, like, topless cars. Like, even cars that are, like, Targas or convertibles in real life. They usually have the roof up in them, except for, like, a couple cars. But this is definitely the way to experience the game Coming and not drive into now. the ocean. Remember, we're, going for elegant, we're, we're not... I, I'm trying. I'm Fast trying. I'm trying to slow down. down. That definitely happened. I don't know what that is, though. I don't know why it's so dramatic. I don't know if we just have, like, the worst tires in the world. But we just went flying. I know this thing is very back heavy, though. But it's like accurate. Because I think 99% of the car is in the back. I remember that being a thing in the old Forza, like Forza 6 or something. This thing was in there. You just gotta try to stay in the gas, I guess. Because most of this feels like a liftoff. Oversteer. A little, little drifty right there. Keep All it balanced. Come on. Straight line speed. Here we go. The game feels good though. Like I, I feel connected to it, and everything's quality. And it's the same like Forza reliability. Like there's not many bugs in here. Oh, we got plenty of time. I don't even know why I was going so hard in the beginning. Look, this guy can't even drive. It's not my fault. The shot, I mean, Look the at this clown. The setting and the whole effect. Your driving was half decent too. Thank you. I'm making that bank already. I did get a bunch of bonuses too for having old forces. Like I got like a T-shirt and a wheel spin of some sort for each one. We just got a wheel spin now. But I have something called like Super Wheel Spin, which I think is in Forza 7, but I never played it, so I don't know. But I have like a bunch of those for each Forza, like all the way back to Forza Motorsport 2, I think. There was like six of them in the list at least. Super Wheel Spin, that's what I'm talking about. Let's check our messages here. Gifted Clothing. Horizon T. Business Payout. Oh, that's right, there's jobs and all that in here. I completely forgot. Head to head, and don't know what that is. I guess people can challenge us or something. Mixer integration, love seeing stuff like that, even though I don't use Mixer really. I did when it first came out, but not anymore. Uh, all this stuff that's whatever. Take a look around through these menus before we do anything. Grand Master Players, what the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe that's like some sort of pro thing, or maybe the highest ranked people or something. Maybe the people with the most play time. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that could be. You guys know what Grandmaster is? Like, if that's something from Forza 7 or something, let me know because I have no idea. 
There's our good old Al Borland right there. This is Creative Hub. We get blueprints and blah, 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 yada, yada. Cars, I already kind of know the car list. I'm sure there's a ton of car list videos out there, so I'm not gonna really bother, especially because there's 400 and something of them, over 450. I really am getting bothered by the fact that our car is like moving in the background. Very weird. Got an achievement. This is all probably similar stuff to the last game. My cars, it's a Raptor, this Focus, and an Escort. I guess we're all forded out. Now with the car pa uh, not the car pass, the game pass version, you do get that drift pack, the formula drift pack, but we don't get any of the other stuff. But we do get this, so I'm, I'm curious to check that out. The Bond thing is cool, but I don't know. You do get some missions and stuff with it, which I like, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll pick that up in the future if I even can. I don't know if I can even get that afterwards. Anyways, let's check out some wheel spins. We'll burn through them. I, I would have took the Corrado. I like that. <laughs> it's a cool ass car. I would have took the I-8. Though I guess we could do some drifting. The I-8 is really cool, though. It's a lot of hate for no reason. And a oh, pink yeah, t-shirt that to me looks those. white. You can head home to change if you like, or just do it here at the festival site. I already know hey, how to Kyle. change my clothes. You just had me if do that. Oh, a super spin. spin. Wait till you try the Horizon super wow. spin. Same principle, but you get oh, yeah, give me that shirt. That's cool. One. 300 Just grand. Let's take really it. Special. All right. We got a sweater. Screw the bracelet. Don't care. 300,000. All right. Let's see what else we get. Okay. Yes. The XE is kind of cool. Maybe we could have some. Oh, oh I would have liked that M2 much more. Don't know what the laser is. I assume well, it's obviously a horn. I don't know what it sounds like. Give me the 400. Yes. Oh, and a 250 GTO. What is that? The most expensive car in a game? Did we just get the most expensive car in a game like that? All right, we're going to back out before I ruin the game for myself. I do want to check the price tag on that Ferrari. 10 mil. 10 mil. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out the festival. I haven't done that yet. 535 or 531 roads. Is that what that said? I don't feel like that's that much. I really don't. <laughs> Unless they just don't show up on the map. All right. Fancy a new rate? You can buy it here. Cool. I do like this little animation thing that's going on. Check out some upgrades for so, our little focus. It's a garage, obviously. Body kit. That's where you come to work in your cars. Oh. Makes sense so far. We might have to. We might just so have to. Let's get it. We're gonna be pimping in the first day. First episode. Oh. Uh, we're gonna have to level that thing off. I'm not satisfied with it just Gears being like handling, a body kit. Tuning, that kind of thing. Brakes. What do we got here? Rally, and then we have drift. I don't want either. We're gonna keep it. Stiffen it up a bit. Hopefully, it gets rid of some of the issues we've been having. And the weight. I don't care. Uh, I don't want to throw this thing like too high because I want it to be usable. Drag tires. That's interesting to see in this game. It's obviously for the drag strip, but I like that. That's all here now. Alright, so now we have a bit of an upgraded car. We're looking pretty badass with our little paint here. I might have to change it to a different color because the white looks funny. And what was I going to check? I want to see the prices of the cars. I wonder if I can sort by price. Sort. Value. Well, I don't want you to show me this Fiat. Five million plus cars. All of these are in the tens. I guess they've leveled it off, and well, most of these are in the 10s. So we do have one of the most expensive cars in our first day. Interesting. 
That Porsche looks badass. The Lincoln, all that. Sesto Elemento's in here from the jump. That's cool. I love the 911 GT1. That is such a badass car. I like seeing both Bugattis. Uh, I still wish they had the OG Veyron. I just like that car a lot, but it's understandable. It hasn't been here forever. That Bentley looks tough. That is badass. There's our Santa. Cool. All right. Anyways, this has been our first episode of Forza Horizon 4. If you guys want to see more of this on the channel, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can get notified for when I upload new videos of this. And uh, let me know what format you want these videos in. I could do them like this where we just kind of go through the game. Or I could just show off some stuff. Or we could do those showdowns again, which is basically me doing a Top Gear type of thing where it's a car versus a car for a timed lap to see which one's better. Uh, obviously, they're going to be competitive with each other, not just like a Fiat 500 versus the Bugatti, although that would be kind of funny. Make sure you let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Peace.